chịu chứ Hey yo, welcome to the Blue Plate Special. It is real live music right here in beautiful downtown Knoxville, Tennessee. We're here hanging out in the old city today at Barley's for the Big Plate. Feel free to come join us. And if you can't be here with us, you know, uh, it's streaming live right now on the WDBX Facebook and YouTube channel. So, our guests today, well, you know, they're not new to us here at WDVX by any means. What are you trying new? to say? <laughs> You're not. Is that code no. for we're old? Is that what you mean? Last, la, well, hello. Oh, Red has lost her microphone. I just lost my microphone. Red has lost her mic. So. I have know, lost my mic. We're just old friends. You want to come over here and use mine? There it is. Back. Yeah. So. Last week, we had never seen the band that was here before the minute they walked in the door. That's what I mean. I you all, you. you've been around. We I know you here at WDVX. Y'all give it up for East Tennessee's own Jeff Barber and Sarah Burkle to the Big Play Live in Farley. Tom Phil tune there called Billy in the Low Land. We're going to the Key of A now, Jeff. Yes, ma'am. All right. It's good to be here at this little. It's good to be back at WDVX. And at Barley's. So we and spent a lot of time on this stage. It's been a while.
walking tall, tall, tall through high reeds. This path has not been easy, but I'm going anyway, walking tall through high reeds. Hey, I got a song in my heart, it's too big for words. This path has not been easy, but I'm going anyway, walking tall through high weeds. I'm walking tall through high weeds. It's Jeff Barbara and Sarah Perkle with us here today on the Big Plate Live from Barley's. One time, a long time ago, Sarah was doing that song on the show and you, you introduced it not to be confused with walking high and tall weeds. That's right. And I've That's never, how she wrote the song. I never heard it the same ever since. Every time I'm like, well, how does that go? You know, I'm always getting it backwards there <laughs> since you said that. Sarah Perkle, um, y'all is a is a member of the East Tennessee Songwriters Hall of Fame, and uh, we're mighty proud of that. Um, I guess uh, Jeff and Sarah go all the way back to the camper days with WDVX as well. And um, I'm, uh, you told me you got a bunch of new songs, so I'm assuming y'all are doing a lot of songwriting these days. It's getting that way. Yeah, we're starting to. It, you know, you go in ups and downs, you know, when you're trying to write songs. And uh, I guess here recently, I've been writing more than Sarah, I suppose. I've been doing a lot of co-writing for the first time, uh, which is kind of different, you know. The only person I've really co-written with a bunch is Sarah. Right. And she kind of steers the bus. I just, actually, when we write together, I start writing something, and she comes back and corrects me on everything. <laughs> and ends the co-writing. So that's how that kind of works. Well, you know, she's she's the one that she is, is the in Hall of the Famer, she you know. is in the Hall of Fame. I'm just so the, <laughs> um, I'm just the Hall of Shame guy, you know. But but Sarah's been doing a lot of teaching, haven't you? Jeff and I both have, oh. and that's something I meant to mention to you before we went on the air. We are uh, instructors for a great program called Junior Appalachian Musicians. Um, it's yeah, it's yeah. awesome. We are, and I'm the program director for the Smoky Mountain Jam, you know, Jam, Junior Appalachian Musicians. What right. a great name, Jam! So that program has been going on in Townsend at the Great Smoky Mountain Heritage uh, Museum for about two years now. I teach fiddle, Jeff teaches guitar, and then we also have North Knox Jam that's happening in Fountain City, and we are signing up for that right now. That's going to be at Northside Christian Church on Tazewell Pike. So. Um, if you just Google me or Jeff, Perkle's a really easy name to remember. <laughs> Sarah Perkle, Jeff Barba, you'll find us and we'll tell you all about jam if you want to get your fourth through eighth grader involved in playing this kind of music so they can be proud of where they come from and add their voices to this living tradition. Also, we can loan instruments to those who don't have them. It's a very affordable program. I'm very proud to be part of it. How wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get so these little ones playing music, you know. Would social media be the best place for people to Jeff send you Sarah, out there? Sure. Jeff and Sarah Music .com. That's our website. Okay. Um, so, what else do we need to talk about? The Perkle Family Band. Sarah's been playing um, with the Family Band. And um, y'all got a gig coming up soon. Yes, at Ye Old Corner Lounge on Saturday. All the Perkles. whole bunch of Perkles. And my niece Erin, who's technically a Gillison, but... She's all purple. Yes, she kind of is. And um, the purples that don't play music show up too. So it's it's always like a purple reunion. It percolates up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I always <laughs> thought that y'all should... I, I tell Andy this all the time. Y'all should be the percolators. I wanted it to be purple. Hey. I liked that one too. But Andy wouldn't go for it. So for a little while, we were different names. I thought the Sesame Street Perkles was a good one. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else. Um, when we're playing punk rock, we're the Perkle Jerks. 
Oh my goodness, we could go on, but we want music to happen here. So I'm going to let you all know that merch, they got a little bit of merch available here after the show. You can feel free to shake and howdy with them. March 4th, they're going to be at the Blunt County Library. Uh, no, April 4th, they'll be at the Blunt County Library. April 5th, uh, Behind the Barn, they're uh, happening with Anya Hinkle and Finn McGill. That's at Blue Tick? Blue Tick Tavern in Maryville, yeah. And then again on April 6th, 6th, they'll be, uh, the Burkles will be at the Corner Lounge. So three chances to get to see some live music from these folks. Feel free to shake and howdy with them afterwards. Um, you were talking about doing a little co-writing these days. Now, yeah. your your new single was a co-write, was it not? It sure was. Huh? Thank you for teeing that up. I'll go ahead and play that song. How about that? All right. Uh, well, well, yeah, I wrote that. I wrote this song. Uh, I don't know if anybody out here knows. Uh, I'm sure people out in Radio Land remember. Uh, uh, Jean Dupree, it was a uh, Grit Fritter, is he went by Grit Fritter, mm -hmm. and he was a great singer and songwriter here local. And he passed away about a year ago. Was, no, just just six months. Six maybe. months. It's been less than a year. So anyway, he just passed away recently, and uh, I wrote that Dave and I, I I wrote this song and sent it to Dave, and he he we can started working back and forth on it from then on. Which Dave but did you send it to? Did I not say that? No, yet? you okay. didn't. I know a lot of Dave's. I just kind of like, hey Dave, how you doing? Hey Dave. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here, man. Dave Coleman out of in the East. He lives in East Nashville. He's with the Coleman. Anybody know who the Coleman are? Yeah. yeah. Man, don't miss them. You They're see, they, the Coleman are coming to play somewhere. It's a three-piece band. They rock. Do not miss the Coleman. So I wrote this with Dave Coleman, and it's about grit. And uh, his wife Sarah shared the same name as my wife, and uh, she's a. Uh, got dementia and it kind of the whole song is kind of like it's a it's a love song from him to her well y'all we're gonna hear it right here it's jeff barber and sarah perkle on the big plate live from barley's <laughs> Here with you a talking, but I see your mind is a walking. Two feet in front of me, but you're so far away. I give all we own to go back to what we knew. Oh, babe, I wish I could be there with you. so tired of working while you're so tired of searching I hate to leave you alone in the day what else can I do you loved me all these years I know for all that we've been through oh babe I wish I could be there with you I'd be at Montana on the road up to the sun Or you could be lost on the coast of Maine when a beautiful day is done But I hope you're in the hills out back so close to our home And I'll keep calling your name so when you hear you know Trust the ties that bind Goes in her eyes Now and again There's an emerald shine One fine day Is gonna be brighter Than we ever knew Oh babe you know I'll be there with you We might be out in Montana On a road up to the sun we could be found on a coast of Maine when a beautiful day is done. But I hope we're in the hills. 
hills out back so close to our home the sound of you calling my name I love to hear cause I know I'm not alone here I've gone on talking and I see your mind still walking two feet in front of me but you're so far away Give all we own to see what we're gonna do. Oh, baby, no, I'll be there with you. Oh, baby, no, I'll be there with you. Hold on now. Grit Fritter, he was a great thumb style player and he would have uh, probably made fun of us for writing that song for him. <laughs> no, he wouldn't have. He would have left it. Um, he used to cover my song, The Piney Rose, which we're going to play here in a little bit. You know, that first line, my name is Anna Carter, but when he sang it, he would say, my name is Amy Carter. <laughs> oh, Grit. We recorded that at our buddy Alex's studio. Alex Harrelson's down here and we just recorded that at his studio a few weeks ago. So really appreciate him being here. Appreciate y'all being here. What should we play now, my dear? I don't know. What do you want to play? Are you ready for me to play the mandolin? Yeah, yeah let's try this out. Okay. This could be one of this could be our this is pretty could be pretty good. Or it could be a just a massive train wreck. Eh, it's just music. Nobody's gonna die. Well, if I hear the train going by, we know what it what it is. <laughs> so I haven't done this. She hadn't played this. Man we have. I'll tell you what. There's a little story behind this mandolin. This is a. I got this mandolin back when Sarah and I were dating. We got it together. We got it together from Gene Horner at, out in Rockwood, Tennessee. Gene builds mandolins and fiddles. Um, and we did a gig one time, and a buddy of ours, McGill, uh, here he at, did, at Barley's. At here at Bar. We used to do a little sh radio show here called Behind the Barn, back in yeah, back in uh, 1999, I think, all the way to about 2004. Is that right? Something like that. So uh, anyway, we uh, Mike needed to borrow my mandolin, so he he played it that night. And he left the damn thing here. So uh, and that's this mandolin is just priceless to us, you know, because we we had had it when we were dating and stuff. And so Mike left it here. So we called over here the next day. And sure enough, it's gone. So about ten, we thought, well, it's gone forever, and we just cried about it, cried about it, and just forgot about it, you know. And I, we don't want to throw Mike under the bus now. No, there was a whole his. band of people that borrowed our mandolin and they all left it. So, so no. we had miscommunication <laughs> and there was a few beers involved and the mandolin got left here. Is that rephrased enough? That is, yes. Okay. So, so fast so, forward. Anyway, so 10 years later or so, about 10 years later, we get this call from uh, Benny Smith. Yep. And Benny said, hey, did you guys uh, have a mandolin? At, said, at Barley's. At Barley's. I said, what are you talking about? You have a, man, a mandolin at bar. I said, well, "Yeah, we used to. We left it there about ten years ago." Do you? And he said, "Well, my buddy, what was the rest? Horsehead. Horsehead. That this was guy named Horsehead. <laughs> they were remodeling here, and he found our mandolin stuck upstairs in between two walls, and it had, didn't have any identification in it other than a piece of paper where Benny had written, like he'd given us some guest passes to a concert or something. He'd written it, something on there to us, and horse, Horsehead." <laughs> <laughs> he recognized Benny's handwriting and uh, called Benny up, and so we got it back. I think that's a great story. Yeah. So this mandolin's back, making its debut again here on this stage for the first time. And hopefully it's not a train wreck. This is the second instrumental we've ever written. It's called Happy Dreams Dance. And we're going to follow that with Monroe's Hornpipe.
Thank you. It wasn't too awful bad. Sarah played a little different than I did the first time around, but hey, hey we wound up on the same songs. That worked out. We had fun playing it. All right, so I haven't written a whole lot in the last little bit. During the pandemic, I particularly did not write a whole lot um, because, well, we were taking care of my parents who were around in the corner on their last days and just didn't feel like writing much. But right at the beginning of the pandemic was Easter, a good Friday, just like today. Happy Good Friday, y'all, for those of you who observe. Um, and so... It was going to, the forecast was for rain on Easter, and I kept thinking, there's got to be some kind of old wives' tale about what happens when it rains on Easter. And I looked it up, and sure enough, if it rains on Easter, they say it's going to rain for seven more Sundays. Well, that was about the length of time they were saying we were going to be in um, safer at home guidelines, and we were a little wrong. But anyway, I wrote a song kind of about that and about doing things to, to take care of the people that you love. And I want to send this out especially to Karen Reynolds, who's at home recovering from. Karen's been, you can't, you knock her down, she's going to get right back up. Yeah. She's a tough chick. And so um, there's a message of hope in this song, and I want to give that to Karen. I want to give it to you guys as well. This is called Rain on Easter. They say if it rains on Easter Sunday, gonna rain seven Sundays more might be superstition I'm not sure on a sad Friday evening Jesus hung from a cross but on Sunday they rolled the stone away it might rain on Easter The sun will rise anyway We can't see love with our eyes But we can see the things it does We might be blinded by the tears we cry We might not be ready to trust But faith is the assurance Things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. They say if it rains on Easter Sunday, it's gonna rain seven Sundays more. Might be superstition, I'm not sure. A sad Friday evening Jesus hung on a cross But on Sunday They rolled the stone away It might rain on Easter But the sun will rise anyway And we can't see this enemy With our eyes But we can see the damage it does we won't claim a simple victory as our prize. The world is not as it was. But soon we'll meet on a sunny afternoon. We'll have music and laughter and we'll hold hands. It might rain on Easter Sunday. It might rain seven Sundays more might be superstition I'm not sure on a sad Friday evening Jesus hung on a cross but on Sunday they rolled the stone away in my rain sun will rise anyway. Thank you. It's 
Jeff Barbara and Sarah Perkle with us here today on the Big Plate Live from Barley's. Just real quickly, I need to mention that support for the WDVX Blue Plate Special comes from listeners just like yourselves, from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Tennessee Arts Commission, downtown Knoxville, visit Knoxville, and of course Barley's right here in Knoxville's Old City. It's home of the Big Plate every Friday right here. Uh, coming up tonight, Cole Chaney will be here, and tomorrow night brings Wayne the Train yeah. Hancock to Barley's. Coming up uh, next Friday on the Big Plate, Jason Lee Wilson in James County will be here with us, and you can find out more about that by visiting our website at wdvx.com. So, uh, let's see here. Have y'all put out the garden yet? I have. Of course, and it's not early this year. Normally it would She's be. She's doing lettuce, I think. Are we I'm planting greens and cabbage and lettuce and sugar snap peas. I yep. know what I'm doing. Those are <laughs> cool weather plants for sure. So, uh, um, but y'all generally have a pretty big garden, don't you? Well, it's getting that way. Um, I, we, saw, I saw you went to the seed swap and got some new stuff. I went to the Blount County Library where they have a seed library, and you can get them for free, five packs of seeds a month. And it's the good kind, like Baker, you know, Baker Creek and um, Southern Seed Exchange. It's, and, and also our neighbors are saving their seeds and putting them out there for some heirloom stuff. I've got Cade's Cove Current started, which is it's not a current. It's a little tiny tomato. So I have some of those started, and I'm very excited about that. I love my garden. And I'm actually, I'm not really awesome at it. I'm really just playing around. Um, but I'm having so much fun with it. And, and it's, you know, I just like to hang out there. She tried peanuts. I told her I wanted to grow peanuts. So I could find out you could do those around here. And she grew me a, a whole, handful. whole handful of peanuts. I was so looking forward to them. <laughs> they were real good, though. That one handful is delicious. The critters the best would, peanut I've ever would have already life. eaten them at my house. We There would be no, not even a handful because... Somebody feeds the critters peanuts at my house, and so they're, they feel pretty entitled. Anyway, we've gone way off the tracks here. I just always like to uh, talk to folks about their life outside of music. So I'm going to back on out of the way. We're going to get a few more tunes here today from Jeff Barbara and Sarah Perkle on the Big Plate, live from Barley's. Thank you all. Here's one that uh, we wrote together about how beautiful it is and to live in this area. And I don't know how many songs we have like that. That's pretty much what we write about is how beautiful it is to live here. About being out in the woods and on the mountains and in the rivers to soothe your soul. It's called Sweet Creation.
Set your soul aloft like a tiny feathered thing Trust your flight to the mystery without knowing what it means Open your heart like a bird on the wing Sweet creation This old world still has a song to sing Let's see, so I think we have three songs we have to get through, though, instead of just two. I'm negotiating with the time right here. We're going to have to do that one and that one. Three quick ones? Thank you. We're negotiating for time. We got it all figured out now. It's a good thing to have more songs than you need. That's pretty refreshing. We'll just jump into them real quick, not much of an introduction. Here's, here's a gospel song of mine I get a bunch of requests for. My God is love, my God is peace, my God has nothing to do with the war in the Middle East. Cause my God's loved everyone that's ever came and went, and my God don't care who's our next president. My God's in a newborn baby child. My God's in a hundred year old tree. My God is a wind through the valley. My God's in you. My God's in me. My God and yours are one and the same. It doesn't really matter if yours goes by a different name. My God loves me. My God loves you. No, it don't stop with just a chosen view. My God's in a newborn baby child my God's in a hundred year old tree my God is a wind through the valley my God's in you my God's in me my God's in you my God's in me going to do one of her big hits. I'm going to let her play the guitar on it too. I dare you to play the fiddle. I played the mandolin. What can you do that's different? <laughs> I can sit here and look pretty. That's true. He is a trophy husband. I didn't know if y'all knew that or not. I mean, it's pretty obvious, you know. That's right. Show him a little leg there, baby. <laughs> you can't tell the difference between my socks and my legs. See that? <laughs> what is that sound? That's happened a couple of times. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Is it coming? Right there.
can't do I can't deal. Turn this mic on right here. And I'm going to unplug it. Okay. I'm going to start over. My name is Anna Carter. It's a simple life I have lived. I've lived on this mountain every day of 90 years. This winter is the longest that old Jeff Barbara and Sarah Perkle here with us today on the Big Plate Live from Barley's. We're going to get one more tune from them here today. But before um, they do, we want to invite everybody back again. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back at Visit Knoxville at noon for Anthony Ray White with some honky tonk. And Jonathan Knight will be with us as well. You can find out more by visiting our website there at WDVX. Com. Again, Jason Lee Wilson and James County will be joining us next Friday for The Big Plate. And of course, uh, we are a listener-supported radio station, and there's always a donation box at the front. Uh, a little uh, love in the bucket keeps the good music going. But speaking of buckets, we'll move it to its proper space, but we'll have a little love bucket right here for Jeff and Sarah after the show as well. We love love, but love bucket tip jar. Yeah. That's, we like love bucket better. It just sounds better than I tip think that's jar. my new nickname. I like love that. Bucket. <laughs> love bucket. You are a love bucket, Jeff. Yeah, theme Jeff. song to do it. It's better than chum bucket. They do have some uh, 
a few CDs available over there as well. And feel free to shake and howdy with them afterwards. And just thank them for being here with us again um, April 4th. They'll be at the Blunt County Library April 5th is behind the barn at the Blue Tick with Onya Hinkle and Finn McGill. And April 6th, the Perkle Family Band will be at the Corner Lounge. So big, big weekend next weekend for, the, for them. Uh, if you're listening in, it's Jeff and Sarah Music, all spelt out, dot com for more information. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming thank and being you. with it's us so good here to be here today. with y'all. So glad to see so many Faces we ain't seen in a while. Yeah. Give y'all self a round of applause for being here. I appreciate y'all. I got up at 6.45 this morning. I watched the sunrise. That's the earliest I've been up in a while. Did you even go to bed, Jeff? I went to bed. Everything. <laughs> it just depends. Yeah, that's the thing. I actually got a good sleep last night. All right. And uh, I was looking forward to this morning. Yay. Looking forward to today. This is, this is morning for me. Will you leave us with one last tune here today? We'll do, sure we'll do y'all one last song. Here's one that's called Prayer for My Friends. Yeah, I want to send this out to the family and friends of Kirk Whitehead, who passed away this week. If you knew Kirk, he was one of the best guitar players on the planet and a solid dude, and we we're going to miss him so much. So this is for Meredith and Cabe. And also, I want to speak something to ex into existence here. There is a wonderful um, organization real close by. It's called Care Cuts of Knoxville. And they do a lot of boots on the ground, helping our unsheltered neighbors, um, making sure they have food and a place to take a shower and finding their, you know, help them get a driver's license and get housing. And they just do wonderful work. Marty Baker is a, a good friend of ours who does stuff there. So we need to do some kind of benefit to help them raise some money to continue doing what they're doing. So I'm hoping to do that somewhere soon around here. So y'all keep that in mind for care cuts to help our unsheltered neighbors. This is the song we close all our sets with. It's called Prayer for My Friends. God bless you. Jeff Barber and Sarah Perkle.
thank you all and join us again next time for more Real Live Music on the Blue Blade Special.